And my name is Arvan Charan Kun, graduate student in Master of Science program in Genetic Dentistry, Mahidon University. I would like to present. I would like to present my research in the topic of factors related to low salary for in a group of Thai diabetes older adults. Thailand has entered an aging society since 2005. The number of elderly people is increasing steadily. Increasing age, the higher risk of developing several disease. The prevalence of diabetes in Thailand is rising, according to data from the International Diabetes Federation. A Thai population is 15 years and over has to age. 3% of diabetes. Prolonged high blood glucose can cause abnormality in structure and functional of several organ systems, as well as the oral cavity. Hypocelation is a common oral problem in older adults, which seems to be more serious in older adults who suffer from diabetes. Decrease in the flow of saliva in diabetes subjects compared to non diabetes. A study by Suez et al. found that diabetic patients with high plasma glucose have a lower simulated parotid growth rate than those with well controlled disease and non diabetic subjects. Because of several consequences of diamond in diabetes patients, Particularly in the greater group, detection of affecting patient proper management for this problem, as well as preventive strategies for oral complication can be beneficial in improving their quality of life. Therefore, this study aims to investigate the prevalence of hypocelation as well as the potential associated factors of this condition among diabetic older adults in Kankhoi district, Saraburi province of Thailand. The older participants aged 60 years and over who had been diagnosed with diabetes and received on growing care at Kankhoi Hospital, Kankhoi Saraburi province of Thailand were enrolled in the cross-sectional study. When calculating the sample size by referring the study of Lima, the total number of sample size 277 participants. Participants were excluded from this study if they have other coexisting systems that result in dry mouth condition and individuals who have psychotic disorder related by using cognitive assessment. Data collection. The information collected in this study consists of three parts. Participants will interview about the general information Smoking and alcohol drinking habits, kidney disease, and medical current use. A whole salary for a measurement was performed to determine the amount of expense library for. The information of coexisting kidney disease were all obtained from the hospital electronic call program. Statistical analysis were performed with the SPSS program. Result among the 377 participants, 54.19% were female. When serometry control conducts, 63.4% have a salary for a classified as hypocelation. Association between hypothyroidism and general characteristics, health behavior, including smoking and alcohol drinking habits, did not show statistical significance. 
Association between hypersolution and physical metabolic status did not show any practical significance. HbA1c and microbiomyelia demonstrated the association after adjustment for other COVID-19. Discussion from the literature, several studies record the prevalence of hypothyroidism in diabetic patients, ranging from 48 to 90 to 45 percent. Due to the variation of methodology for natural mental risk and type of value, many studies have the same conflicting results. The mind implies that measurement of cerebral risk could be a better way to evaluate diagnosis problem than serosomatismal in diabetic patients. Either. The participant who has HbA1c level greater than or equal to serum were approximately twice arrived to develop hypothyroidism compared to participants with HbA1c less than serum. Mechanism linked with relationship were in the state include dehydration from polyuria, several class of medication, and autonomic neural dysfunction. Association of HbA1c level with a decrease in salary for a study by Rima et al. found that diabetes control could reduce the hypothyroidism condition. The participants who were in the prison of microbiomyelia were 3.4 times more likely to have hypothyroidism compared to those who were absent. The prison of high number of participants were microbiomyelia was one of the interesting findings in the, the prison study. As the area side of renal impairment in diabetes patients, this study showed the prevalence of microbiomyelia 67.64 percent. The overall prevalence of microbiomyelia among high diabetes patients was 73.2 to 35.5 percent. Increased level of albumin insularity of patients with Diabetes neuropathy. Microbiomyelia may associate it with duration of disease and glycemic control lead to change in cerebral gland function. Conclusion Prevalence of hypothyroidism among diabetes older adults approximately 63%. Hypothyroidism is common complication among older adults with diabetes. Hypothyroidism associated with poor glycemic control and the presence of microbiomyelia. Thank you. I have to apologize for my mistake and any inconvenience at the beginning of the presentation. Sorry, thank you. That's okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Arwan. Uh, I tried uh, not followed by, by other results. So as to your summary, your summary that the high the hypersalivation associated only, only when the patient has poor glycemic control and microalbuminia, right? Yes. Only two factors. Uh, only two, yes. Only two factors. And uh, could you please uh, explain why is that? Why the microalbuminia? What what the microalbuminia or the glycemic uh, control has an effect on the salivary gland or salivary function? From the literature review. Uh, the uh, glycemic control uh, related hypothyroidism because uh, some mechanism to salivary gland function. And 
uh, for the microbiomelia, uh, like uh, the researcher found the the albumin leakage in uh, saliva. Saliva maybe is uh, like in urine. And, and what does because it's a uh, and it's a sign to a uh, complication of chronic chronic disease. I see. So, but but why but why is that? Why 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 did you when you detect albumin in saliva? Uh, why why the patient has a hypersalivation or uh, I I quite uh, I would like to know that the mechanism of the albumin to the salivation. Mm. Please explain that. The mechanism of sorry, the do you do you hear me? Yes. 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 The, the mechanism of this like uh, in urine, uh, this could be due to, uh, due to diabetes membrane, membranopathy or a change in the integrity of the cap capillary bed causing leakage of albumin across the basement membrane into the salivary secretion. Uh, and why? And this me mechanism is uh, similar to change that cause microbiomelia in which uh, dysfunction of glomerular fil filtration barrier, including the basement membrane, was implied. Okay. Uh, so, so the salivary gland is not destroyed by these two factors, right? Or is this a, uh, has an impaired control by, by which means like uh, the nervous system or because uh, the the gland is destroyed. It is that what I asked about. Uh, what does the microalbumin and the glycemic done to uh, to to the salivary gland that cause the hyposaliva the hypersalivation? Okay. Yeah. But, but that's okay. Okay. 